feet are basically the cilantro of the body. Some people simply can't get enough of them, whereas others can't help but recoil in disgust when they're on display. Some of our favourite celebs absolutely hate feet, including their own. Keep watching to find out who can't stand to look down at their toes. Before Meghan Markle married Prince Harry, she was a working actor who, like many working actors, participated in photo shoots. At one of them, things went awry when the area below her ankles was included in the shot against her wishes. In May 2020, an anonymous videographer provided the Daily Mail with some harsh claims about working with Markle on a shoot in 2015. At this point, a British tabloid covering and picking apart her behaviour was nothing new. But what was unique about this particular story was that the conflict involved her feet. Although this anecdote should probably be taken with a grain of salt, or perhaps foot powder, this videographer alleged, A fellow team member told me that at a certain point he started to shoot her feet, just taking some B-roll, and I don't remember if they had told me in advance or not, but I understand she hates her feet. When he did that, they all looked at him like, what the hell are you doing? And said, you're done for today. It sure sounds like this was a miscommunication that really stepped on Markle's toes. Director Quentin Tarantino's apparent obsession with feet is a well-trod subject. So it's either ironic or perfectly fitting that Uma Thurman, an actress he's worked with on multiple movies, is among the celebrities who aren't fans of feet. In 2003, while promoting Kill Bill Vol. 1, she got into the topic while appearing on Friday Night with Jonathan Ross. You know, in this movie, for instance, it's a lot of foot. That's very embarrassing. You don't like seeing your foot? I mean, you know. What's wrong with your toe? I don't, I personally. I'm sorry, that was that just the leather on the chair when I moved forward. <laughs> the subject of Thurman's feet came up again in 2006 when she once more stopped by Ross's show, as she told the host, I was always physically insecure. Big feet, too tall, not coordinated or together. In 2012, Thurman told The Sun that when she was 18, she wasn't confident about her height or her large feet, as she admitted, It took me until about 35 to walk without being self-conscious. She went on to say that things get easier with age, adding, I even found that in later life, a lot of guys have foot fetishes. Quentin Tarantino is very open about his foot fetishes. Wiggle your big toe. Wiggle your big toe. It seems safe to assume that Paris Hilton would not say that's hot when trying on ballet flats. In her 2004 memoir, Confessions of an Heiress, she revealed that she isn't a fan of her feet or the way that they look in certain kinds of footwear. She wrote, OK, I admit it. I desperately hate one thing about my body. I have size 11 feet. I can't believe people care what shoe size I wear. She also noted that she's comfortable in high heels because they shrink how long her feet look, while going on to say, But forget about ever seeing me in ballet slippers or tennis shoes. I'd look like I was wearing canoes. In 2010, talk show host Wendy Williams recounted a conversation she had with Hilton when she was a guest on her show. She recalled, I told her during commercial, I was like, I like your shoes. I said, I know you and I wear the same size, but your feet are long and narrow. And she said, Wendy, please don't talk about my shoe size while we're interviewing. But she wears a size 11, like me. She continued, I respected that while she was here, but you know, the other side of that is if we don't let women know who is wearing what shoe size, it will forever be thought of as that size 11 or size 10 is wrong. But my opinion is, you know, women with size 10s, 11s and 12s unite. Jason Derulo's dance skills are undeniable, but it appears that years of cutting a rug have taken a toll on his feet. In February 2020, he told 2Fab that he isn't thrilled with the way his feet look. In fact, when he was asked to name his least favourite physical attribute, he replied, I don't really like my feet. I got like athletes. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'd be running. I'd be dancing on my joints. Derulo has indeed been giving his joints a workout for quite a long time. In 2009, he told Billboard that he began dancing when he was five years old, and it evidently was love at first step. In 2010, he told The Daily Bruin, I've done ballet, I've studied tap for years, I've done jazz dance, hip hop. I was a professional hip hop dancer for a couple of years as well. Dancing is my thing. In a behind-the-scenes video for the 2019 movie Cats, Derulo spoke about his long-time passion for singing and dancing. He revealed, 
I was just obsessed with singing. I was obsessed with dancing. But it started off with me in the kitchen with my socks on, trying to do the moonwalk. And I think that you need to choose something that you're so obsessed with. You just want to do it all the time. In 2003, while Britney Spears was doing press for her upcoming fourth album, In The Zone, she told a group of journalists that her feet were just one of the physical attributes she wasn't particularly in love with. As she put it, My nose is big. I have ugly feet. My teeth are not as white as they could be. My nails look really bad right now, and I have cellulite on my butt. Does being beautiful occupy me? What can I say? It's real. It's there. It's not like I'm going to cry about it. It's life, and it's who and what you are. Overall, I have tons of my own hang-ups. Many years later, one of Spears' feet actually managed to make headlines. In February 2020, her boyfriend, Sam Asghari, shared on Instagram that the singer had broken her metatarsal bone while dancing. Spears regularly films her at-home dance sessions, and the particular session during which she busted her foot was no exception. A few days after Asghari shared the news of her fall, she posted a video on Instagram of the exact moment that the injury happened. As she noted in the caption, You can hear where I broke my foot here. Sorry, it's kind of loud. We recommend watching or not watching at your own discretion. Even global superstar Beyoncé has moments where she isn't totally feeling herself. While filming her 2011 concert special A Night with Beyoncé, she reportedly revealed that she wished she could swap out her feet. As she put it, If I could change one part of my body, it would be my feet. After all the years dancing, they're a little beat up. Apparently, though, this revelation didn't make it into the final edit of the special. When People magazine named Beyoncé the world's most beautiful woman in 2012, she said that she noticed some changes to her feet since giving birth to her first child. She noted, My toes and my feet are a lot rougher since I've become a mom. But she wasn't sweating it. When asked how she felt about herself at that moment compared to her 20s, she replied, I feel more confident. I have embraced my flaws. I'm like everyone else. I have days when I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, I wish I could change this or that. The more you mature, you realize that those imperfections make you more beautiful. Once upon a time, Mandy Moore toured with NSYNC, and at some point on that tour, Justin Timberlake pointed at her feet and said, you have big feet for a girl. It was a moment that she would not soon forget. In 2016, while stopping by The Late Late Show with James Corden, she was able to laugh about Timberlake calling out her foot size in front of the rest of the band and their backup dancers. She noted, I'm sure he doesn't remember this at all, but I was so impressionable and I thought the world of him. He was on a pedestal. Well, and I mean, 16 years later, it stuck with me, so it, <laughs> <laughs> it really scarred me emotionally. How, how, how big are your feet? <laughs> size 10, but I'm 5'10", so... Yeah. I mean, in 2018, Moore revealed on The Howard Stern Show that Timberlake has since apologized for that remark. Then, in April 2020, the topic of her feet came up again on an episode of Jimmy Kimmel Live. She pointed out that there is a book called Mandy Moore, The Unofficial Book that claims she's proud of her big feet, which she has disputed. In fact, she may not even like feet in general. In 2015, she posted a photo on Instagram of her feet post-toenail removal and noted, Guys, feet are gross. Kira Knightley reportedly gave her own feet the boot while shooting a movie. According to a source who spoke to Closer magazine, the actress brought in a body double for her feet while filming 2007's Atonement. The source claimed that Knightley's feet were considered, quote, too big and veiny. The source also claimed that Knightley was not upset by this, adding that she apparently believed replacing her feet with someone else's was really funny. To paraphrase the old saying, if you can't feet them, join them. Knightley has been forthcoming about using body doubles in her movies over the years. In a 2012 interview with Jonathan Ross, she shared that when it came time to film a scene for 2005's Domino, in which she would be doing a bit of striptease, she asked if she could have a butt double. What were you looking for on the bottom? I was just sort of looking for one that's sort of around the same shape as mine, just a bit better. In 2019, Kira swung by live with Kelly and Ryan and discussed her decision to ask for a body double to appear in love scenes for the movie The Aftermath. According to her, it worked out swimmingly for everyone involved. And they apparently had a lovely time, and I got to not take my clothes off and eat cake on the other side of the window. <laughs> Charlize Theron is yet another celeb with a few foot-related qualms. Before she became an A-lister, she was a student at the Joffrey Ballet School, where her feet were put through the ringer, and they have the battle scars to prove it. In 2003, she was quoted as saying, 
I've had 14 broken toes and blood poisoning from infected blisters that didn't heal for six months. If you look closely, you can see the scars. My boyfriend says my feet are the best things about me. I don't know how to feel about that. What Theron does definitely know is how she feels about unwashed feet. The long and short of it is, keep your feet clean or keep them away from her. In 2017, she told Variety, I don't like dirty, dry feet. If you want to torture me, tie me in a chair and dirty up my feet and then touch them. There you go. Super weird in classic Quentin Tarantino fashion, his 2019 film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood features dynamic action sequences, homages to classic cinema, and plenty of shots of bare feet. When Margaret Qualley first learned that her character's feet would be propped up on a dashboard in one scene, she had some concerns. While promoting the film, she spoke several times about the experience of showing her feet. She told Paper Magazine, I have dancers' feet though, so I was like, you don't want me to take my shoes off? I have disgusting feet, they've been mangled. It was the one thing I'm scared about more than any other body part. I was like, can we have a close-up on my elbows instead? When speaking with IndieWire, Kuali shared, I genuinely was like, Quentin, this is a bad idea, I don't have good feet. Additionally, she told W Magazine, Quentin wanted my weird-looking feet up on Brad's fancy car's dashboard. I kept trying to hide them, but he insisted. And when talking with The Hollywood Reporter, she made her feelings as clear as day. I hate my feet more than anything on the planet. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.